Hi guys, this is Anna from Anna and Ivy and today I will show you how you can get more out of your stock images. For example, adding white space. This is an image from our stock and mock set and we will create now this amazing Pinterest pin. So what we need is a file that is created for Pinterest. We go on File, New. And then we make a file with 600 and 900 ratio. We can name it like Pinterest pin. We have a resolution of 72. This is the resolution for web and 8 bit RGB color. Everything is fine. So this is the ratio for Pinterest pins. And now we will simply move this image from our set to this new layer. With F you can have this overview look, make it smaller and then you can see our files are much bigger <laughs> than the actual Pinterest pin. So what should we do? Maybe like this. Yeah. What we have is we have some objects here that we don't want to have over there and we have not enough white space. So what we are doing now is we will duplicate the base layer and name it work. Because you always need a layer with your base information in case something happens something crazy happens, you have your information saved for later. So we want to work on the base layer, we work on the work layer. So what we do next is we add a mask to the work layer. You don't need to see this. Now we will paint on the mask and to see the whole thing better we will create a new curve adjustment layer. and. Take the curve down so we can see what's going on here. So now we will make take a brush pen and we have hardness like 68 or 17 and flow and opacity is 100%. Now we will paint with black on the mask layer and remove the stuff we don't want to to leave for the Pinterest pin. So that's basically it. And now we need this pin. You can see there's something going on here. So we will add a new layer, empty layer, name it background or back. Then we will take the color from here and simply paint on this. It's like super basic. As you can see we have some shadow going on here. So we make another brush with zero hardness, flow 30% 30, 30 and 100% opacity. Take the color from here and simply paint very lightly on this thing. So you can see this is, oh, this is still too dark, but we'll get there. So, So this is actually the thing. Now what we will do is we add a little bit of blur, uh, not blur, <laughs> of noise. So it looks more realistic, like one. Let me see. Now maybe 
0 0.5 so we have a black here as you can see there's still something going on here so we will take a closer look what we do now we group this file uh, these two layers with command G duplicate this and with command E we have a stamp copy now I will take the patch tool and go around here so we have a we get a smoother transition in this whole thing you won't see this stuff later so what we now do is make a curve again and do it on top with command i you can invert the curve mask and then we will paint with white on the mask so you can see that the light uh, that the light is coming only there where you need it so here we go this is our base from here to this and now yeah this is totally fine now what we can do now is if if you want to leave this like this simply with command e make a stamp drop all the files together because we don't need them later now we make a shape we make a shape with shift you can get like the proportional square but we want something like this Then we change the color to something that is harmonically the same color as we already have. And then we will make it like this. Like 50% opacity. What you can do now is you can duplicate this layer, set this to transparent. And make add another color from the set uh, from the image from the base image. So now we have like something like this. Just this one a bit. What I mostly do is I set this to round so it's not that harsh. So here we go. Maybe make some space here and there. Or add some space, sorry. Now we have text here, and with Command T, you can simply scale the whole text. So, <clears throat> to see where our middle is, take the very bottom layer, set your line over here, your ruler line, and as you can see, the text always begins on the left and has some space on the right, so most of the time I put it more to the right, so I have the Thing in the middle in the center so this is basically it you can now make some adjustments 
maybe duplicate this one, add another color, 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 I don't know how to say it right. And now we have a kind of drop shadow, maybe like this. That's it. I would get nrrv.com so you can add your own, your very own website down there. I don't like it when it's too offensive. So I would make it smaller and white. Same thing here. Take care of the font that it's in the middle. <clears throat> so what we can do with this? Hmm. Maybe we could add some strokes, some paintings. Like this. To give it more of a handmade look. looks nice. Now we duplicate this layer too and then we go to the blending options and choose color overlay. And then we can choose again the color from before or something near this. And now we have Okay, the color is a little bit different, but you get what I mean. So yeah, this is basically it. You can add like a gradient to this whole thing. I would not recommend to use. Wait, <laughs> wait, what I have done. This is not what I wanted to do. Yeah. Gradient overlay, sorry. You can add a gradient overlay here. I would not recommend to use black and white. So let's use the color from before. And then this one could be something like this. So you have kind of dimension in this um, gradient. Change the direction maybe from this to that or maybe in this direction. This looks nice. I think I will leave it. So this is a very very basic pin nothing super special but I think you get what I mean with using your stock images in different ways so yeah that's it have fun oh wait <laughs> you will save the file what I would recommend to you is to save the file for web you can go on file export save for web and then of course jpeg i would say 80 percent and 100 percent of the image so you can see here the size of your image and you should always take images or crop images or convert images for web um, as small as you can from the si file size because um, smaller images always um, have always better SEO rankings or uh, I mean not smaller images uh, I mean websites with smaller images because they load faster so yeah I would recommend this then simply save this you will save this add tutorials Pinterest pin, Pinterest 
Pinterest. Pin number one. Yeah, and that's it. And now you can upload your Pinterest pin into Pinterest, what I will do with this one. So try it out, have fun, and see you next time. Bye!